Hi friends, I'm back in Dollar Tree. I'm taking you with me. We're looking at all things Valentine's Day. Let's go shopping. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. I wanna love out loud. Welcome back guys. Today we're looking at all things at the Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day and boy do they have a lot to choose from. It is hitting shelves earlier and earlier. This time around, they actually have some really cute, fun new signs. I like these in the heart. They have it in the red or pink option. Did you guys notice at Christmas there was not many signs? That was really interesting. I do feel like they did a few so far. I'm sure there might be more to come. These in the ombre are super cute. It does come in a colorful rainbow as well as the red and pink. They also have lots of decorative pieces. So this is a faux stack of books and it comes in a few different versions. Everything we're seeing at least two versions of. So they have these little trucks for Valentine's Day. This actually I'm finding in three versions. There might be a fourth. I love this one in Cupid's Confectionery. I also really like the Candy Heart sign, even though it has some glitter on it. Of course, they're doing their vertical and horizontal long signs. And this little hanging welcome sign is back from years past. Over here, I am finding these signs that I want to point out to you are really nice quality. They're a heavy MDF and I really like the lip on them. Now, of course, I love them even more if it wasn't glitter, but I think they did a really good job. They also have these little tabletop pieces in a pink heart or a purple heart. I love these. These are so cute. These definitely would be a great dupe for things you would find at places like Hobby Lobby for a little bit more. Now they also have these little barns available in four options, a pink, a white, a darker pink, and a red. And the candy hearts have returned. So I'm finding them in pink and love, blue cutie pie, the purple is the hugs and kisses, and then be mine on the green. So cute and a good size. Now they also have these little framed pieces. All of this is $1.25. They are putting out these little heart love quote books. So this would be great if you're putting together a gift basket for someone special for Valentine's Day. I think they had four total to choose from. They're all slightly different. And these that are an absolute Hobby Lobby dupe, these little kissing booth pieces that come in a pink or a red and white version. These are actually even larger than the ones that you'll find for a little bit more at Hobby Lobby. And they are adorable, great tiered tray filler. They also have some tabletop box style signs. I really like this one in the Candy Hearts, just a little square little addition to your decor. This one is absolutely adorable in Cupid's Cafe. Now they also did the mason jars. I have a question. Are you guys sort of over that look of the mason jar? Um, they have four options. So if you love them, you may want to look for the one that you like the best. They also have these that are a good size for $1.25. They are gnomes. I know many people don't get the gnome thing, but if you are into it, they have them. A few different styles of hats. This one has more of the fur style and then the other two have a more sweater knit. I really like this one in the pale pink. Super cute. Great size for $1.25. Now up top giving you a better look at some of those vertical signs. This one in the candy hearts is adorable. They also have one in love and lots of gnome garden picks and signs as well. Now they also have this sign out that is a gold. I'll show you guys a little bit better look at that and it is a vertical sign. Very different for Dollar Tree. I kind of like it. They also have those little trees and the little donut vertical hanging heart sign is back. This is so cute if you love the sweet treats theme. They also have these gumball style signs in a pink and a red option. I choose you. <laughs> so cute. Now they also have these that are really nice. These again are a lot similar to what you're going to find at places is like Hobby Lobby framed out in wood. Now they do have these smaller signs. These would just be a great little tiny addition to some place that you're decorating. It comes in four different versions. Of course, my favorite again is the sweets or my Swede. They also have some little gnome signs, pink or red on those. And then these larger hearts that are a faux wood. 
love these they're very well done and then they have the hanging banner a few tinsel items these are super cute additions to any wreaths you may be making they brought back the be mine now i didn't see it in the red last year they had it in a red and a pink they have a few tag style and for the blue lovers they even have something for valentine's for you now they have the kissing booth sign i believe i own that i'll have to take my bin out and some super funny tinsel items. So they have a unicorn and a dinosaur because nothing says Valentine's Day like a dinosaur. They also have some champagne bottles that are super cute and then these little gnomes that are all in pink and then some tabletop foam heart decor along with this cute little gnome that is actually the perfect size for that kissing booth. We'll have to see if we find him again here in the store as we go along. Now they also have the table mats or placemats that are felt hearts and lots of new items in the tinsel like those little emojis in the hearts. These are great for gifting. They're just a great little addition to any gift, those little helium balloons. They also have some garden stakes in metal trucks, blue, I'm sorry, pink or red. And then this one in the envelope, be mine. Now I'm going to show you guys a few things in the Valentine Plus section, and then we're going to move on to the craft section and the gifting section. Oh my word, they are really outdoing themselves. Now, first off, they have these trays. They are metal. Love this one in the floral shop. So cute. They also have these cutting boards. They are sort of a cheese plate with a knife. $5, great price. They come carved in a hugs and kisses or love version for $5 a piece. And they also have that little heart tray in the lovebirds so cute and down here they've got it also in a white version in be mine and not to be left behind they had to bring out a two-tiered tray for five dollars this one is a heart shaped with a heart emblem on the top in metal it's a diy you put it together yourself and it comes in either bright pink or red they also have these foam florals that light up in a string light they have some marquee style signs that are battery operated and say love they also have some really nice cupcake um, liners so if you're DIYing some faux treats you may want to check those out they also have some table runners these are really cute I don't think I could make one in felt for three dollars and it comes in two different versions the red and the pink and white and they did a lot of wreaths so they have two grapevine options red flowers or the pink and then they have the heart forms that are all florals in red or pink all of those are five dollars and they have this garland i have to tell you guys about it is felt it is so well done has little red toss tassels at the bottom it is such a cute garland for five dollars now they also have tons of stuffies coming out for valentine's day so if you've got someone that you're looking to purchase a gift for you may want to check this out I personally think that these teddy bears are gorgeous. They're a good size, as you can tell. They have some smaller ones as well. Now, over here, they've got lots of decor. So if you're decorating for Valentine's Day or maybe for a bridal shower or a wedding coming up or you're just in love, you may want to check these out. These are really fun little frames for $3 that have the glitter sort of snow globe effect inside. They come in four different versions so um check these out i thought these were super cute for three dollars you just add a photo and that's a great little gift they also have the dice and it comes in a few different versions it's three dollars it is a wood dice and so each color has different things on all of the sides I think these are cute for decorating with. Um, I don't know that I would actually play a game. If you have, comment down below and let me know. What's it called? How do you play it? Um, I just think that they're super cute if you're going to be maybe decorating a entryway or someplace small for Valentine's Day. I know not everyone goes full out for Valentine's Day like we do for Christmas and Easter. Now they also have these tabletop signs for $3. They come in the hugs and kisses, kisses, and hugs. Now you could get all three and put them near each other or just one of them. They're a really good price for $3. They also have these corrugated wooden hearts for $3 and bouquets. How pretty are these? I saw these resting up here on the shelf. I'll show you more of those in a second. For $5, they have a fun little beetle style bug and then they have the truck 
with a heart in the back that is a fabric stuffed heart. They also have these standing pieces that are so cute. So this one is in the heart. It is two-sided, so when you turn it on one side, it says, sweet love. The other side says, you are loved. And then this one in the round version has hugs and kisses and together forever. And those are only $3. Again, a great little price for a great little piece. And so if you're just doing a small area, that's a great little addition. For $5, they have some pretty nicely sized box style decor. So first one is in red. This one is in the wood tones with just a little bit of red. I know that that's just kind of personal taste. A lot of people do only pink for Valentine's Day. Some people do pink and red and some people just do red. I personally go with red. It's a great way to keep the warmth of the holidays around in my home. What do you prefer? Comment down below and let me know. I still can't get over this garland. It's so cute. Okay, on to some more florals they have over here in the plus section. They're calling this a kissing ball. It is covered in roses for $3. I think that's a great little price. It comes in three color options, the pink, the red, or the white roses. Now, if you're having any kind of events this spring, you may wanna check these out. These may be cheaper to buy them here at Dollar Tree than they are to make them. Now, they also have these bouquets I was mentioning. They come in three options as well, colors three dollars so it's a bright pink a really soft pink and then a red of course so i think again of lots of showers coming up and weddings and now's the time to keep your eye out for things like that they also have this little giftable piece for five dollars with roses in the black box now let's get into some of their craft items they're putting out ribbon and oh my goodness, this is velvet ribbon in the white and red. Of course, they've got the glitter covered sticks, the little heart picks that you can add to florals, some fun little ones that do have clips on them. So these would be great additions to a wreath that you may already own. They also have this great for crafting. It is a jumble, jumbo floral heart. Now up here, I noticed these. I've never seen this before. I'm not quite sure how you would use that. It's just kind of like a few tinsel pieces in a bouquet. Now they have all of the vase fillers and little scatter pieces, lots of wood items for DIYing. These little wooden sticks are one of my favorite things for Valentine's Day. I like to make little skewers. These are great little gifty items that you could DIY some gifts for with little donuts or treats on them, even marshmallows dipped in chocolate. Now, of course, they've got lots of foam and felt items for crafting. These are great for the kids. They even have some appliques. This was catching my eye. I was seeing some unicorns and not really anything intentionally Valentine's Day, but interesting items. They also have the string lights in the red hearts. This in these beautiful pale pink jewels and then the miniature hearts. Now, I am loving some of their smaller ribbon. This one in the hearts is so cute. They also have this that I think is really pretty. It is a stamped heart ribbon. It comes in the white, pink, and red, and lace. This is so beautiful. You could use this anytime in a million different ways. Now, if you're looking for a Valentine gift that is not edible, they do have these little craft kits. You're gonna wanna look for those. They are great little Valentines. Of course, they have the tinsel items and then these little metal trucks that are a great addition. Again, they have a hanger on them. You could add them to the middle of a wreath and call it done. Now, speaking of wreaths, they do have these wooden beaded wreaths. So pretty good size. Now I do feel like the wooden is a little bit bigger than this one with the pink, red, and white beads. So cute. They also have some faux wood hearts. So these again would be great additions to any wreath you already have. You could hang this in the middle with a ribbon. It comes in the white, a pale pink, as well as a red. And that's kind of an easy DIY. Now, if you wanted to get a little more intricate and maybe a little more personalized, they do have wooden pieces like these wooden hearts. And they also have these fun stones in the heart. They also brought out the trees. They are a pale pink for Valentine's Day. And then some more wooden pieces for you to add your personalized touch to. I personally really like all these miniature wooden 
ornaments. So if you do a seasonal tree, this would be a very cost effective way to do one. They also have the roses out of felt and that cuts out all the work. Of course, they brought back their scarves and a few of their metal pieces like this cupcake. Now over here on our way to the gifting section, I'm finding lots of dog oriented Valentine things. So if that's up your alley, check out those. They have some really adorable things in the gifting aisle starting with some of the sweet treats, the marshmallow little hearts, as well as these giftable cookies. Now I'm not sure how delicious they are, but they sure are cute and would be great little decorative pieces. They also have some fun Valentine themed cotton candy, as well as the ring pops, all of the little novelty hearts and the little heart lollipops. That was always one of my favorites when I was buying for a whole classroom. And they also have the conversation hearts. So keep your eyes peeled, get it now before what you are looking for is no longer on the shelves. They have a ton of different ways to gift items, including these boxes that come in a few different versions and they do come in different sizes and don't do what I did at Christmas and buy your gift separate from your box and then get it home and it doesn't fit. <laughs> Try to buy them at the same time and save yourself a headache. They also have the tin hearts. I love those and these this is absolutely something that you would find in the target dollar spot and here it's only a dollar 25 in the glass canister they also brought back the hearts that are the plastic bowls lots of baskets and small containers for gifting that's what my mom always did she always baked us some chocolate chip cookies and put them in a little container and that was how we celebrated and it was wonderful there are some larger tubs, so if you're looking for a much bigger gift, you could definitely grab one of these and fill it up, or just some smaller containers. These are the little bags, but oh my goodness, the stuffies that they have for Valentine's Day are just too cute. They have like a little milkshake and a cupcake and a little piece of pie. They even have some little dinosaurs and these are a lot cuter than what Dollar Tree has had in the past few years, including these that are in little pairs. So they have burgers and fries. They have a little piece of bacon with eggs and lots of little friend critters. So monkeys and puppies and dinosaurs you name it, including peanut butter and jelly, which I thought was super cute. I found more of those little gnomes over in this section. So if you're getting one of the kissing booths, you may want to look on the gift aisle. Now up here, they've got more gifts in any theme from bath bombs and bubble baths to dinosaurs and makeup accessories. So let's take a look at everything Dollar Tree has out for Valentine gifts. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy
as you can see, there is no lack of gift ideas, options for Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree. I even found these little trays. This would be a great way to gift a very affordable small piece of jewelry, maybe a, just a pair of earrings. They also have these door banners. I think this would be great actually. I have a long vertical window by my door and I think that'd be perfect in there. They have the old school honeycomb items, chair covers, stickers, what do you buy for Valentine's Day? I'm always curious to hear how people celebrate, what they do, what are your traditions? Do you go out to eat? Do you cook a meal at home or do you skip it all together? Let me know. I'd love to hear. It has definitely changed through the years for us. When our kids were little and I homeschooled, we tried to bring the seasons into our home. And then it's always been something that I've done after Valentine's Day just to cheer up the house. So I've decorated and always given everyone in our family a small gift. I think buckets like this that you can get two for $1.25 are great for that type of thing. You could make some popcorn, drizzle it with some chocolate and a few sprinkles and have a movie night. And I think things like that are the perfect way to celebrate. Now, I know the kids always have their Valentine boxes and want to take gifts to their classmates. And this is a great section for that. Now, if you're gifting to a teacher, they do have these nice little sacks. You could definitely put a little gift card in with some candy, and I think those are so sweet. These are always so fun for parents on the go. They already have a little gift on them with the Valentine, so they're sort of self-contained. They come in eight pieces, and these little hearts are great for either gifting or decorating, and oh my goodness, those of you that love sweet treats, these little candy-shaped pieces are perfect for even Christmas next year, especially if you're a pink lover, pick them up now. Now they have some really pretty um, gift bags. I love this one in the red and white stripe with the gold text. Lots of options, $1.25, really good prices. Now up at the front of the store, they had a few more gift bag options and even a few I think would be great in DIYs. I think this one in the candy corn is so, or sorry, not candy corn, that's the wrong holiday. Conversation Hearts was super cute, but this one in Cupid's Arrow Market, how adorable is that? And it is a two pack, so it's a great little buy. Now they had more of the little box style bags up at the top in the front as well as lots of fun little socks these are great little gifts and i think they have something pretty much for everyone men women kids everyone in between so i wanted to show you guys a few things outside of the valentine section that i was finding this trip into the Dollar Tree and up in the front, they have these little rounders full of decor. So they have these frames and this that could go for either Valentine's Day or not. It is a light up LED text sign. It comes in gold as well as the black. And then they do have this fun little date night spinner. They also have some coffee themed countdown calendars and the ceramic hearts. These again would be great to put a little gift in for Valentine's Day, a birthday, or just for your sweetheart. Now they also have these that are really cool. These are just little bulletin boards. They're velvet and they do have little sticky pads on the back and they come in the circle as well. And these that are really fun, definitely a Ray Dunn looking item. And then they're bringing out everything else for Mardi Gras. So there's a ton of options here at Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you back very soon. Bye.